Hey, Jeff here with Digital Trends, and we are at the LG G3 event, and this is the LG G3. As you can see, it, uh, if you're familiar with the last G3, this is a lot, looks a lot like it. It's got a kind of a brushed metal design, a little like the HTC One M8, which I'll show you in just a second. But it has the traditional LG, uh, what has become a tradition, their back buttons here. So this is the power and volume right on the rear there. And uh, plastic, but again, feels like brushed metal. Very thin design. It's got a huge screen. This is a 5.5 inch screen, but it, it feels pretty much like a regular phone. Here, I'll show you next to the, uh, this is the HTC One M8, the new HTC One. And the Samsung Galaxy S5. So it's pretty much the same size as as these two phones. Just has a much thinner bezel. But uh, it's roughly about the same thickness too. So nothing uh, crazy. So it has a much thinner bezel. So just a smaller frame for the actual size screen. Both these devices have smaller screens in them. So you get a little more bang for your buck there. This is also a higher resolution screen than any major smartphone uh, released in the US today so far. So this is a 1440p screen. So you will never be able to see a pixel on this because it has 2640, I believe, or 60, 2660 by 1440 pixels. So there's about 3.7 million pixels on this screen. Uh, LG says they've compacted the pixels so they're about 44% smaller than on uh, competing devices. Both these have 1080p screens, which by all accounts is <laughs> more than what you need as is. But the uh, LG screen does look sharper. It does look very sharp, and it especially looks good. I'll show you the camera app here. Again, doubtful you're even going to be able to see it in this video very well. But uh, we'll switch it to forward facing. Uh, this also has a laser focus, so it focuses extremely quickly. And you, can, you can't really see it on the video most likely, but there's a little laser here. You can actually see it kind of shoot out. Uh, nothing as powerful as a laser pointer or anything like that. But this is a very powerful, uh, powerful rear camera. Fastest, uh, fastest focusing I've, I've seen. It also has a more powerful, they say it's a one watt speaker on the back, which is pretty nice. No waterproof, so uh, the Galaxy S5 has a waterproof design, so you can actually dunk this in water and it will be fine. The LG G3, like the HTC One, unfortunately does not have that. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, overall though, very nice phone. There's a couple other features we'll get to in the hands-ons and you'll be able to see, but pretty slick phone, very fast, especially it's got a Snapdragon 801, fastest processor out there right now. Everything's pretty good. Uh, the interface is nice. Everything's stacking up pretty well. Wish it was waterproof, but uh, other than that, the LG G3 is looking good.